Official records indicate that since 1952, at least 115,000 people have gone missing in Mexico, although the actual number is likely higher. During the 1970s, many of these disappearances were linked to government repression. In the last 20 years, however, as the authorities have battled drug cartels and organized crime has strengthened its hold in various regions, identifying those responsible and the reason behind these disappearances has become increasingly challenging. This has created a terrifying environment where disappearances occur frequently, leaving families in despair. These tragic events are often connected to human trafficking, kidnappings, acts of revenge and forced recruitment into criminal groups and affects not only the local communities but also migrants who travel through Mexico. In moments of profound loss and uncertainty, many people find that their faith becomes the steady foundation they rely on to seek hope and answers. This is particularly true for countless mothers in Mexico who are desperately searching for their missing children. Churches and faith communities play an essential role in supporting mothers as they navigate these incredibly difficult journeys. In Mexico, where violence and disappearances have sadly become all too common, some churches have stepped up to provide spiritual and practical support to those searching for their missing loved ones. One such leader is an Anglican priest whose ministry, along with others like it, provides a crucial sanctuary for grieving families. Mothers find strength and comfort within their Christian communities. An ecumenical group, which includes Methodists, Evangelicals, Indigenous spiritual leaders and even feminists was created and goes beyond traditional worship by offering a comprehensive approach to healing. They do more than just pray. They listen, share meals and walk alongside these mothers as they search for their missing children. Their ministry is a powerful example of living faith expressed through service to others. While some churches and faith leaders have risen to the occasion, offering much-needed support to grieving families, others have not. The Christian response to such tragedies should be rooted in empathy, action and an unwavering commitment to justice. However, this guidance must be more than just words, it must be a living expression of Christ's love and compassion. The stories of these mothers remind us that faith can carry us through even the most unimaginable pain. But they also serve as a call to action for the church to be a true sanctuary for those who are suffering, ensuring that no one has to walk this difficult path alone.